Look at this guy's cool little mohawk. Got a little faux hawk going on. What do you think, Livy? What's up, modern stutters? Today we're gonna take you inside and show you how our chicks are doing in the brooder. But first, and talk about this multifunctional shelter we built that we're loving. We used it for our winter chicken coop, and we built up deep bedding for the chickens. And then we kicked the chickens out a couple of weeks ago, and we put the chicks in there once they were old enough. So it's just a really great multifunctional structure we have here. And we've been putting it to the test and optimizing the use for us. Let's go check out the chicks. Want to uh -huh. see how they're doing? Scared? They're just little chicks. They're just little dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, they're getting up and visiting the broody hen. They're getting around pretty good, guys. They're up on top of the nesting box already. Perching up there. They're eating us out of house and home. We've given them quite a few scoops of grain already and they've eaten it all. The Icelandic chicks are doing pretty good. I don't know if you can see. Grab him. That one in the back's got a neat little mohawk. What was his name? That was. Look at this guy's cool little mohawk. Got a little faux hawk going on. What do you think, Livies? Come over here and check him out. Cool. Yeah. So the Icelandic chicks are good size. Let me grab a meat bird. Wow. Like the, the meat bird, size. I'm going to say, are about a month old, younger than the Icelandics. They're about the same size. But the meat bird weighs a lot more. Really? Yep. Yeah, so yeah, the I, the uh, meat birds are definitely bigger than the Icelandic chicks, and they're about at least a month, if not two months, older than these guys. Let's grab one of the barred rocks. All right. So this is one of the bigger barred rocks. Let's see if I don't know how good size-wise we can do this. But they're about half the weight as the Cornishes. As you can see, the chicks are loving it in here. They're up high, they're down low, they're running around, they're getting into all the little crevices. It's been getting down to the 30s the last few nights, and the chicks out here are doing awesome. This greenhouse is keeping them nice and warm. We don't have any other kind of heat in here for them. They've just been staying with each other, huddling up, staying warm. We haven't lost any chicks yet. They're not all completely feathered out yet. And we've had really good success with them. Just learning to scratch and to peck and to dig in the dirt and to go after what they can find in the deep bedding. One of the best parts is, is this is a multifunctional structure. So once the chicks are out of here, it's not just sitting dormant. We'll be using it for the piglets when they come this weekend. And then once the piglets are done turning the deep bedding into compost, we'll be planting our tomatoes and peppers in here. And we'll be, they'll have plenty of fertilizer in here. We'll take the compost out and we'll use it in the garden. But then just all the nutrients that have soaked into the ground over the winter will help the tomatoes and peppers grow like crazy. There's the broody hen. She's been sitting on the nest and doing really good. Let me get a little bit better of a close-up for you. How long has she been sitting on those for? She's been sitting on them for quite a while now. This Sunday, Mother's Day, awesome, will be 21 days. So maybe on Mother's Day she'll be hatching out some chicks for us. Ooh. That'd be kind of neat, won't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Me and Olivia have been talking. She's going to paint a sign for the chicken coop, but we need to know what to name it. So what do you think? How about we ask you guys for suggestions of what to name our chicken tractor, chicken coop, chicken palace, whatever you want to call it, and then, and then what? And then I'll pick out the... Suggestion that I like best and I'll paint it. So leave in the comments down below what you think we should name the chicken coop and then Olivia is going to be the judge of what we do name it and she'll make a plaque for our chicken coop. So we can't wait to hear what you guys have for suggestions. Leave them down below. 
So I hope this video can inspire you guys to build a multifunctional structure and don't think that you gotta have something just for chicks or just for chickens or pigs. Build something that you can utilize for multiple things and you can get all your bang for your buck out of it. And it's really fun, you can use it all the time. And it's just great knowing you build something and you're able to use it for multiple things and it just keeps returning its investment for you. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share the video, it really helps our channel grow. What are you guys thinking about the growth of the meat birds? It's pretty crazy how fast they're growing. Leave it in the comments below, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.